We are 24 hours from the most important game of my life. I gave myself one year to become world champion in a new sport. But what you don't know is I faced so many problems. I feel explosion on my back. What is fucking shit that burned to me all the time? I just arrived in Brazil in the stadium where millions of people will watch me playing live against the Brazilian champion, Jaguinho Quadrado. This is the story of the most challenging year of my life. In 2008, I was crowned as the first ever world freestyle football champion in Brazil. After that, I traveled the world playing against fans and pro players in Pana Challenge. I become the most recognized urban bowler on the planet. Two years ago, the pandemic stopped me to perform at the highest level. I gained weight and chronic health problems. When the activity came back, I was not an athlete anymore. And to top it all, I had the worst injury for a football player, the Achilles tendon rupture. I got two surgeries in one month to fix all problems. I start straight away the rehabilitation and during this hard time I discover a new form of football where people play one-on-one -on -one full court in the middle of the favelas in Brazil, the Un Para Un. In my mind, the only solution to be back on track was to set up an ambitious goal, compete against the best player of this new sport. I gave myself 365 days to achieve it. Hello, my name is Jeff Hayes. The story with Seyan started beginning of this year. We see his mind was very good, but what was his big problem? His big problem was more his physical state. He was in a state of exhaustion. He had a lot of doubts. He couldn't sleep. His body was complete, not ready. Even his immunity was very low. Nutrition for Seyan was also very bad. Yeah, he, he, is all, he is mostly on the road. If you see here his biochemical profile, yeah, in the beginning that I met him, and after four weeks, his biochemical profile was complete balanced. Based on the numbers, I choose exactly the right training and the right moment. You have mobility training, you have power training, you have technical training, and you have strength training. We are almost three, four days before his competition. I can tell you that I have a lot of confidence that he is ready for it. Uh, the best is yet to come. And um, yeah, we will go for it. Three days before going to Brazil, I trained against three players from Dubai to feel if my tricks were on point. And at this time, I was confident. Now some pain start to happen. The game is to manage everything because the most important is Brazil. In three days I'm playing against Falcao first game. The night before the flight I received a call asking me to perform in a big event in front of important people. And even though I shouldn't have accepted, I couldn't refuse this opportunity. I came to like save the ball and BAM! I feel explosion on my back. What is fucking shit that happened to me all the time? I came straight away to the hospital. The goal was to reduce the inflammation in my back and my knee with some injection. Those injuries were stopping my progression the last past months. I hope it's gonna work for the one-on-one. -on -one. This is my last solution. This one <laughs> was something. Non, bouge pas. Ah, j'ai pas fini. Tout, 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 tout. Tout le monde Brésil, I'm coming. Des affiches, on va où? Maintenant, fini. I'm coming, guys. 37 years old. Now we fly to Brazil. Let's go. We are all issue with the like uh, the visa of Brazil. Une minute, 9h4, vol à 9h5. Là ça commence à Jean, les gens ils s'excitent et tout. Moi aussi je suis un peu en pression la vérité. Yes baby Ça y est We're going to Brazil Un para un désastre, I'm coming for you Ok guys, we made it to the flight. Now we have like 15 hours to go to Brazil. After
after 24 hours and two flights, we landed in Recife. We got our luggages before meeting the official host of the event and the trophy. It's beautiful. No, we have the door. I do that every day. Yo! Mr. De Silva! Watch this guys! Watch this! Oh, la, 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 la. Who is this guy? The first day was all about feeling the city and the vibes. We went to eat local. We had a call with David Luis, ex-PSG player. Then we discovered the stadium where everything will happen. They're playing foot mesa. They want to challenge me, so let's see. Let's go to me. Three go to me. We got me set up. Hey, hey. Who's the end of the dog? English? No. Yeah, try, try, try. Fala inglês. How are you? Good afternoon. <laughs> My name is Ney Silva, a voz da Vaz. Where are you from? <laughs> okay, why you start Um Para Um and where? Um Para Um começou há quase 10 anos atrás, na praia, entre amigos, certo? Um Para Um veio da comunidade, certo? É, diretamente lá do Ipsep onde eu fui o primeiro jogo em Tiago Quadrado e Diego e vi que um para um tinha um potencial grande de crescimento. And when uh, did you start to buzz on the internet? Vai fazer dois anos que eu comecei a transmitir e vi que um para um tinha um potencial grande porque o engajamento era diferente dos jogos que eu cobria. Né? Why do you think this game can change the future of football? Vai mudar é que vai abranger um, um público maior nível mundial, né? E trazendo a sua presença acho que vai agregar muito e para a gente é uma satisfação enorme ter você aqui. Tiago Quadrado, what do you think is Special. Tem um quadrado é um jogador que marca, ataca, tem muita força física. When was the change of um para um? Eu acho que a virada de chave vai começar agora, tá entendendo? Porque um para um teve várias etapas. Como é um esporte amador, sofreu muita dificuldade, tá entendendo? A gente tá aqui para profissionalizar um para um. What do you expect from the event? Espero que dê tudo certo amanhã. Vai ser de uma dimensão grande, certo? E creio que em nome de Jesus vai dar tudo certo, porque a gente se esforçou e batalhou para isso. Who will win? Chaguinho ou Ceane? Ah! <laughs> Yes! Ele vai ser um jogo muito difícil, certo? E a gente pode ter o dono do cinturão. Tem um jogador de excelente qualidade, que é você, a nível mundial, que treinou e batalhou para estar aqui hoje. E dificilmente tem como dizer quem ganhará. Mas vamos lá acompanhar e que vença o melhor. After a good night, I went to the beach to exercise and reduce the travel fatigue. But still, one very important element was missing. Coming straight from Paris, representing Ivory Coast, the most skillful goalkeeper, the one and only in the world who can pan at anyone, let me introduce you, GNK. We are ready now to play the first day of this event. I was asked to battle in a 2v2 format the best futsal player of all time, my big bro, Falcao. First, we arrive at the press conference, where I was trying to understand the question. But he brings another element to the table. He brings the freestyler Adonias, the best freestyler from Brazil. 
So the game will be finally Adonias with the influencer Negrete who is good on the ball versus Amaral, ex-Brazil international player who has no mercy when he defends and me. Okay, so we are here, the latest on the stadium. Look, there is nobody. And we elaborate the strategy with my man, GMK, you know, just to try to trick Chaguinho Quadrado. Good morning. Hey, ça va? What's up? You good? Yes, we are on the day of the final, about to play against the best Brazilian player in one-on-one. -on -one. Then I bring this uh, little machine to recover. Today is a bit uh, chill at the beginning. We're gonna make me ready the beer, the haircut, and after we go to the event for the fight. And it's a ticket talking mother for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay, we are here with our supporter of the team Brazil. <laughs> Just finished to be bred with her in Brazil with a Brazilian style. Look at the color. One hour to go to the final. Let's see if I can win that. Let's go, guys. It's time, 365 days for this moment, ready to go.
Okay, first half time. As you see, 5 0. It's not good for me. <laughs> I realized it was hard for me, he was better, but I gave myself a last challenge, to score at least one goal. So this is uh, Tiaguinho, he beat me 10 1. Uh, amazing guys. Jogo de um para um é totalmente diferente. Né? Precisa muito da parte física. Percebi que o meu amigo ele tá um pouco abaixo na parte física. Precisa treinar um pouco mais. Mas é excelente jogador. Trabalhar para aumentar o nível dele. E um abraço aí para todos da França aí e o pessoal que tá de fora aí assistindo. Tamo junto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, people, so it's the next day of the event. I took this time to reconnect with myself, go on the beach, play with the ball, stretch, because I have some pain from yesterday. About yesterday, it was a nice event. It was really nice to feel the atmosphere of the stadium, the fans, uh, the rivality with the Chaguinhos fans, you know, shouting out after me. To be honest with you, the score is the score, 10-1. I deserve that. Chaguinho is better than me at this sport. It's a different sport. It's a big field, you know, you have to be fast, you have to be powerful, you have to score goal. And I was not ready for that. I was not ready, I have to be honest. But the most important for that game, I represent myself. Because at the end of the game, I give uh, emotion to the fans. I did some cool nutmegs. I score at least one goal and I, I represent my style. This is the most important, I always say that. Don't leave the pitch with regret. Play with no regret. And that's what I did. I could be better, I could do some stuff different, but I play with my heart and I represent who I am. Now, you know, I was a bit sad after the game. I post the picture on Instagram and I received so many messages. And I want to say thank you because you guys are the reason I keep doing that. If you remember, more than one year ago, I was on that chair, I broke my Achilles tendon, I had the back lower pain, incredible, I have a knee pain. And it was hard for me to see where I will go as an athlete, where, what will be the next for me. 
And because I set up this goal, like I want to try this new sport and give myself 365 days to train for that, it helped me to become a better man. I eat better, I sleep better, I organize better my time, and I also receive more love from you guys, which is really important for me. Now, guys, it's gonna be your choice. You let me know in the comments what I should do. Should I stop competition? And should I just discover new talent? Or should I keep carrying on with my skills? And should I like trying to be better and come back for the un para un? Or also win other competition? Let me know in the comments because whatever you guys decide will be the next episode on my channel. Thank you so much for the support and I see you next time. Brrrah.